What is up beautiful people? My name is Helen aka Ordinary Fit Girl. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another mukbang. This morning's mukbang is a really special one because it's featuring my all-time favorite food. Listen, watch A is top two and it ain't two. I have all the trimmings that I usually get. So I've got wache, which is basically rice cooked in, uh, cooked with black-eyed beans. Um, and then you have the extra trimming. So I have the spaghetti, I have salad, I have fish, I have gari, I have stew, I have shito, winning combination. Uh, comment down below what your wache combination is. What stuff is an absolute must when you have Wache. So I'm going to be eating with my hands and I'm also eating my wache in a leaf Which is the only way to eat the wache guys. I'm trying to work on my setup I'm trying to make sure that we can get all this glorious food in the shot, but Look at here. Look at this. Oh Get into it. Oh Listen, it's about to be a really epic morning I went for a run this morning. I feel good. I feel recharged. Also, as you guys know, I like to intermittent fast. So I'll show you how many hours we're looking at on the Zero app. So we have clocked, hang on. We have clocked just over 16 hours. So for me, a minimum would be um, a 16 hour fast, so we're good to go. Buckle up guys, the mukbang is done. The watch is all set up, we're going to open up the leaf. Ooh, listen, I know you wish you were here. I wish you were here too, look at this. Look at this, so I've picked up a big scoop of watch with some spaghetti. Just look at this. Oh, oh, refocus, oh. Mmm. 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 This is good. I got this from a uh, Wache place in Hacho. Let me know if you guys get salad with your Wache. I know some people say it's not always safe because you don't know what type of water they use to wash the veg and all that stuff. But listen, salad in my Wache is a must. Like, Listen, get into it. Get into all the greenery, okay? Okay. Okay, so, another bite. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. Mm. Oh, this is good. This is good. Wow. I am in love. Obviously, your girl is still not eating meat or chicken but we have fish making an appearance yum mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. watch his life Big piece of fish. This is so good. This is so good. Okay, big bite. Mmm. Mm. This is some good stuff. This is very delicious watching. I'm in heaven. I'm taking a nap after this. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, um. Mmm. 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 Wow. I will do. Okay, one more bite. And then I swear we're gonna get into today's mukbang. This one's for you guys. Cheers. Oh, here we go. Mmm. 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 What a way to start your Saturday. So, for today's mukbang, I'm gonna be talking about the time when my forehead went viral because I was just strolling today, you know, as I do on a Saturday, and I thought, who remember when your forehead went viral? 
it's been literally almost five years it's about to hit five years of that faithful day when somebody turned me into a meme they turned your girl into a meme okay now i've had some viral moments on the internet as you guys know in case you are not aware i do have a twitter and my at is flavor flaves wife and that's where my other personality resides she's a wild one so i've had a few viral moments on there where i talk about my love life and you know i'm just very candid with the ups the downs the behind the scenes and all that stuff follow me if you want to <laughs> follow me if you're brave enough mm. wow 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 okay so i posted a picture of myself my face was done had some makeup on you know big forehead was out and about as you can see always reflecting lights and i took this picture in my bathroom and posted it probably an hour or less later somebody had made this picture <coughs> basically saying that listen honey sis your forehead is reflecting lights that's how big your forehead is your forehead is now a torch light your forehead is literally the sun at the time when this meme was made it was made by i think it was made by a nigerian guy he had about fourteen thousand followers on his twitter i'm pretty sure i retweeted it because you know if you can't poke fun at yourself who can you poke fun at just thought haha a bit of fun you know it'll die a slow death and then we'll all move on the forehead will have its day will have its shiny day and we'll be done but no the universe had other plans for me and my shiny forehead because it blew up and it blew up wildly next thing i knew world star hip-hop at the time in 2015 they had over a million viewers they had reposted it so many other big accounts had reposted it i had people from my old church messaging me people that had i had lent money to hadn't paid me back who were in hiding they came out of hiding to let me know sis your forehead has gone viral for the most part when it actually happened i thought haha you know whatever thick skin don't care we can all make jokes and i was fine with it i think what made me start to um like become annoyed is how everybody in my life was messaging me um and they'd message you like oh um hi how are you long time no speak i don't know if you've seen it but <coughs> oh, excuse me your forehead is all over the internet so now not only do i have to tell them i've seen it and tell everybody i've seen it i'm replying i've seen it like 10 million times I'm having to relive it because some of them keep sending it back to me. Oh, I wasn't sure if this was you. Sorry to see, you know, sorry. Oh, how, how do you feel? I, I just, I didn't know that it would snowball that hard. So I went on my own personal um, Instagram page on both Flavor Flav's wife and on Ordinary Fit Girl. And I said, listen, guys, I've seen this picture. I don't, like, it's. It's gone viral not much i can do i've seen it guys i thank you for letting me know okay i know my forehead has now gone viral and um that was basically me telling everyone quit it i've seen it enough is enough like i get it all right the internet is a wild ass place you need thick skin you know for the longest time i was definitely a participant in like sharing and reposting memes of people that i don't even know you know someone does something like really effed up or somebody has a really funny embarrassing moment somebody turns it into a meme and then it like lives on the internet forever i was about to live on the internet forever now the wildest thing is in july 2015 I had just started a new job in Holborn and that it was about maybe a month or two after the my forehead had gone viral It took my co-workers a whole year to come and tell me listen when you started this job Everybody was in the staff room trying to figure out if you were forehead girl Somebody pulled out the picture in the staff room like is this forehead girl? 
Is this the girl that's gone viral? I'm sure this is the girl from the forehead me. Wild! Literally. How can I be at work on my first day and everyone's trying to figure out if I'm forehead girl? It's wild. Guys, I live a wild life, okay? Mukbanga by day. Fitness enthusiast by day. Forehead girl at night. Imagine there was a superhero, a superpower. And you could be like, I don't know, what would forehead girl's superpower be? Defeating villains by headbutting them. That's what's up, all right? Forehead girl is a force to be reckoned with. This match here is bomb. Mmm. 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 Your girl has been internet famous one too many times, okay? In this new year, I hope that if I do go viral, it's for all of the right reasons. And to be honest, if my forehead provides some entertainment for the internet, you know what, why not? One life to live, you know? How many of you can say that your body part went viral? You know, unless you like leaked a nude. And to be honest, well, if you leaked it, I guess more power to you. Someone else leaks it, that's revenge porn. Don't let that shit fly, it is criminal. But you know, if you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? It is also a lesson for all of us. Sometimes there are, not sometimes, there are real people behind the memes. There are real people behind the jokes. You laugh, kakra. Keep it moving, kakra. You feel me? We all have to, you know, sometimes develop tough skin because like I said, the internet is a wild, wild, wild place. And I would go on the different sites and um and look at the comments and for the most part people were just commenting about the meme itself like haha shiny forehead but every now and again somebody would like add oh i think she i bet she thinks she's too nice <laughs> what so yeah i was in there every now and again fighting fighting with people in the comments and then I just let the powers that be just let the forehead just do its thing, do its rounds on the internet. So, my loves, that was just a very quick, short and sweet little mukbang. I wanted to eat my watcher with you guys. I still have a little bit to go, but I'm going to save it, put myself in front of a television. As you do, polish this off. Also, as you guys know, I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by my birthday in april we're approaching the 500 mark guys you guys are the real mvps keep it coming keep subscribing don't forget to hit that like button it helps in getting this video out into the youtube sphere if you enjoyed it show your girl some love do me a solid i will be back next wednesday for another mukbang au revoir